Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Welcome to IM153, in which we're going to be checking out the major pentatonic scale. Now, the major pentatonic scale can be a little bit confusing for some people because the patterns look exactly the same as the minor pentatonic scale, but on a different part of the guitar neck. Now, the big trick here is just making sure that you understand which note is the root note, and if you do that, it makes it a whole heap easier. So let's get over and have a look at the A major pentatonic scale. To play the A major pentatonic scale, we're going to be starting with our little finger on the fifth fret of the thickest string. Then we're going to play first finger, second fret, third finger, fourth fret, over onto the fourth string, first finger on the second fret, third finger on the fourth fret, onto the third string, first finger on the second fret, third finger on the fourth fret, onto the second string now, first finger, second fret, little finger on the fifth fret, onto the thinner string, first finger on the second fret, little finger on the fifth fret, and back down, first finger, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. And coming back and finishing on that note A, that's very important. Because there's our A chord, here's our A major pentatonic. You can hear, it's a good idea actually to play the major, A major chord, then the scale. gets it into your head. Now I'm sure you're looking at it now and thinking that looks the same as the A minor pentatonic scale. Now the A minor pentatonic scale was played here. Fits over an A minor chord. But this one is the major pentatonic starts with a little finger and we're finishing on that note A just to make sure that your ears are really hearing that kind of major sound. Now I always think it's a good idea to learn position one and this scale actually position five of the major pentatonic scale. So what I'd like to show you now is how to play position one of the major pentatonic. To play position one of the A major pentatonic, we're going to start here with the second finger on the fifth fret, which is the root note, the note A. Then we're going to have little finger on the seventh fret, the note B, onto the next string, first finger on the fourth fret, little finger on the seventh fret, next string, first finger on the fourth fret, little finger on the seventh fret, onto the third string, first finger on the fourth fret, third finger on the sixth fret, now first finger is kind of moving up a fret, onto the fifth fret, third finger on the seventh fret, and the same thing on the thinner string, first finger on the fifth fret, third finger on the seventh fret and back down to the first finger, third finger seventh, first finger fifth, then third finger's going backwards a fret so it's kind of crossing over, it was on the seventh, now it's moving back to the sixth fret of the third string, to the first finger, little finger on the seventh, first finger on the fourth, next string, little finger on the seventh, first finger on the fourth, little finger on the seventh fret, second finger on the fourth. Let me just play that for you nice and smoothly up and down. The major pentatonic scale gets used mostly in country and country rock but also makes its way into blues as well, and is often combined with the minor pentatonic. So Eric Clapton was a bit of a master of this, of mixing up the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic in the same solo. 
Now, that's the use of this scale is going to be something covered more in the style series, particularly with the country course. But what I'd like you to do now is have a little bit of a go at playing over a regular 12 bar blues, but using this major pentatonic. It's quite interesting. The thing to remember here is that you can't just go using any licks or phrases that you might have learned for the minor pentatonic. They don't work. Remember that the notes in red on the little scale diagram on the website are the chord tones for the A major chord, and they tend to be the notes that you can stop on which are very different to the ones that you tend to settle on on the minor pentatonic. So at this stage, just have a bit of experiment with it. Learn this position, particularly position one, which will be the new shape. Remembering, of course, that position uh, one of the minor pentatonic is the same as position five of the major pentatonic. Now, the trick to remembering that is just know thy root note. It should be one of the guitarist's Ten Commandments, really. Know thy root note for everything, for every chord and every scale and arpeggio you ever learn, you must make sure that you know where the root note is. It's really, really important. Otherwise, you won't be able to move the stuff around to different keys or whatever. So make sure that you know the root note and practice up your major pentatonic scales. Have a bit of a go with them. Check out the different sound, and we'll get more into using those in the style modules. Have fun with that. See you for another lesson very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.